Welcome to Sweet Bay Lane, my craft friends. If you're new here, I'm Tracy. I'm so glad you took the time to stop in and craft this adorable project with me. So let's go ahead and get started. Here are the supplies you'll need for this DIY. You'll need some wood letters, a J and a Y, and they measure five inches tall, and I purchased these from Walmart. You'll also need a bag of white pom-poms. I purchased mine from Hobby Lobby in their Christmas department, but I have seen these at the Dollar Tree. You'll also need three pieces of wood that measure one and a half inches wide by 18 inches long, and then two brace pieces. I purchased all of my wood from the Dollar Tree. And we start by building a base for our project. And that consists of the three pieces that measure 18 inches long. We'll just glue them edge to edge and let them dry. And then when the glue is dried, I flip my project over and I glue my braces down. I also take this opportunity to remove the stickers. Now that our project's dry, we'll flip it over and you can paint it or stain it, whatever you prefer. I'm going to be painting mine this time in a beautiful navy blue. And once the paint has dried, I then came in and just added a little bit of distressing to my board. And once I was done, I set it aside and I continued on with my wood letters. And for those, I'm just going to paint them a basic white. And the letters are very porous being the MDF board, so I gave them two coats of the white paint. Then once that dried, I came in and just gave them a little distressing as well. Now that we have our letters and our sign painted and distressed, we're going to start building our project. I start by laying out my J and Y where I want them placed. Then I'm going to be using the pom-poms to create my O. And for that, just to keep it straight, I wanted something that I could kind of follow, like a tracing. So I just used this roll of painter's tape, traced around it, and then used that as my guide when I glued down my pom-poms. And then, as you'll see, my O is there in pencil. And I just proceed to glue the larger pom-poms around the edge of the pencil line. And then I just filled in with the smaller pom-poms. Now, I got a little too into the project and didn't realize my battery had died <laughs> on my camera. So you miss all the gluing, but I'm pretty sure you get the idea of how to glue a pom-pom on. And then, as you'll see, it's the perfect O, and it's so pretty. I love the detail of the pom-poms, and I love the different textures of the wood letters and the kind of fuzzy pom-poms. It's really fun. Then, once I have my pom-pom O on, I then glued down my J and my Y.
And as you can tell, it's a gorgeous sign on its own, but I wanted to add a little bit more of a rustic touch. And I came in with this large twine I purchased from Walmart and just wrapped the end of the sign near the J. And once I had my twine wrapped around, I then came in and wanted to add a little bit of a twine pom-pom tassel effect. So I took a piece of the twine, I folded it in half, glued it down to the original twine, then came in and glued the pom-poms to each strand of the twine. And once I had my pom-poms on, I then came in and trimmed the excess twine from below the pom-pom and attached the pom-poms to the original twine with some hot glue. I then finished it off with an adorable twine bow. And just like that, we've got a gorgeous joy sign. And I think this would be perfect for gift giving as well. I hope it inspires you to make one of your own. And until next time, keep it crafty.